for their mosquito press. We're going episode 37. 37? Well, is it? I don't know. Probably. I'm pretty sure it's 37. Right. 37, 38, or 36. Blah, blah, blah. Who cares? Is there pretty much all the same thing? They'll uh, be labeled right when they're on the internet. <laughs> oh, you confused people. Come on. Use your human brain for thinking. You got cut off about your uh, your first finish visit to Fantasy Game World. Alright, so I also made like, a mistake. If you heard me say fiction, I meant nonfiction. I used to think comic book stories were, like, weren't an actual real thing. And comic books weren't real. The comic books weren't real? I, I thought it was just some sort of like fake nerdiness, a fantasy that someone can just bring together a bunch of like pages and color them with superheroes. What? You never like seen one? I never seen a comic book That's before so I met you. That's sad. I mean, so when Jeff like told me he's gonna bring me to a comic book store, I was expecting it to be the nerdiest place in my life. <laughs> you know what? A little bit, <laughs> a little but bit. not as serious I thought it'd be. If like as soon as I walked in, some sort of well, like, weird sci-fi music with like a bunch of guys dressed in like costumes of superheroes. Yeah, this store is just like has converted. Uh, it's just a garage, garage converted into a comic book store. All oh, there the is is just of, like uh, an East and Tom Folk and Chico. All there is is just like a bunch of obscure comic books I never heard of and action figures <clears throat> on every desk. And yeah, he sells he's got like a cards. Lot. Yeah, magic cards. We were getting DBZ cards there originally. Yeah. Then we got like all we bought them all out of anything he had that we were interested in. Anyways, uh, actually, the first time I went there, I didn't even meet Scott. I met his mom. Yeah, Dolly. Yeah, Dolly. Dolly's a sweet old lady who's been running comic book stores in Chico since, well, long before my time. Yeah, but I just used, I thought Jeff was, like, pulling my leg, like, we're going to a comic book store. Like, there's no way that's a real place. But I just think we're just going to, like, the fictional novel thing of... Barnes and Noble or something. <laughs> yeah, I just I didn't know what to think. I just never been to a comic book store and didn't know what to expect other than like a stereotype of a bunch of nerds. It's kind of like, oh, oh yeah, look at this comic book. Yeah, Limited now uh, full of money. Now you're collecting your own uh, Adventure Time comics. Yeah, I need another and, Adventure Time comics. And you, uh, you love going to the comic book store. I do. Like Jeff here was one. Who had me read comics and play magic? Yeah. Originally, I wasn't interested. I mean, you know, I told you guys the story of this. Like, if you, it was like episode four or five. Backtrack a bit, guys. Come on. <laughs> Keep memorize everything we say. Uh, I actually I got you into comics with um that one Watchmen. No, um oh, the uh, the dog. Yeah, uh, we three. Yeah, we threw it. It's a really good comic if you guys ever uh, want to check it out. It's about this uh, cat, this dog, and this rabbit that were, um, they were basically in the Weapons X program, the Marvel Wet Rup Weapons X program, what made uh, Wolverine and Deadpool and many other lovable Marvel characters. Um, and they were like these, you know, pets that had been weaponized and they got free and it was very interesting I won't ruin it for you yeah ah, I think that was the first thing I turned you on to and then I tried to get you to read Paradise Street Station but you wouldn't do that because it was I read like the first 100, 100 pages, pages but it just got it was so too slow at that point Somebody. Yeah, I, it's kind of slow. I read a lot of sci-fi. Like, what kept me going was, like, the guy in the bath. That was cool. Like, yeah, the frog the people. Yeah. yeah. Guy in the bath, or, like, the bat person taking shit out of the window. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, what was his name? Um, I don't know. It's been a while. Oh, I'm brain farting. And I've been promised robot monkeys and psychic scissors fights. I was originally going to do a presentation on that book at school. Yeah, I thought. But what happened to that? <laughs> when it was my turn, I said, oh, I'm not, I'm not ready. <laughs> and as we all know, that just means F. And that's how I'm an independent. You should have just done a presentation on like the first 200 pages. Like your fucking teacher was going to know. Like your teacher reads a book about psychic spider. Yeah, he was a little. He was a little like. Uh, oh, what's the word? 
Uh, what's really like you're not too sure of something a little hectic? A hesitant? Yeah, hesitant. He's a little hesitant about letting me. Uh, do you let you do the book and then you didn't even do it? So, yeah. <laughs> you should have just done the first part about I'll the... We have to like make a PowerPoint and everything. <laughs> oh, so you just didn't do the work. I just didn't do the work. <laughs> it wasn't so much that you read the book. You no, just, no. Yeah, I remember when you did that. Your mom was quite upset. Yeah. Is that when you cried? <laughs> Is that when you yeah. were crying? Yeah. <laughs> Don't like me punching. Is that when you Fucker. were crying? Remember when you were crying? I do remember that. <laughs> Every person cries. <laughs> when their mom is disappointed. I'll fucking cry. I'm not a little bitch. <laughs> I don't know about that. You know how big of a bitch this guy is. <laughs> You have abused us a lot, so like a bitch is a bitch. You have abused me a lot. You have abused me a lot! I cried at the end of Braveheart. <laughs> what? Go best! If you don't cry at the end of Braveheart, you're hard as fucking nails. Or watching Marley and me. I never watched that. You never read Sal Make You Cry. Does the dog die? Yeah, it yeah. does. Okay, like, so it's like the new But they do a good job of getting you emotionally attached to it. Because you're rooting for him. You're rooting for him to do his mischiefness. <laughs> but then he just dies. <laughs> what are children? Read the line. <laughs> this is all for play, kids. Farewell. Oh, my oh. ball fell out of my bong. Shit, you better find that. That's important. I've got to run. What? Oh, who's here? Sid! Oh my god! Just in time! Sid! I believe blow job is in order <laughs> with my Australian dick! Oh. Where's Yang? He? Oh, did he die? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see. <clears throat> I kind of saw that coming, not gonna lie. <laughs> He was the one character who didn't really have much to do with the plot. What's the same? I have, though I have much looking forward to me. <laughs> by golly. Oh yeah. <laughs> Who's this gal? Rudia. Is she 18? Who's this gal? Is she 18? Hey, what's up? Well, would you like a Vegemite sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit, I'm a child, I am. Um, it's really the call of the mist. Uh, I killed her mom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's a dead mom. <coughs> Kane did too, but he seemed to get out of it. Shucks! They are coming! Alright, come on. Where's the abbreviations at? They're coming. Not they are coming. That sounds Damn, stupid. Oh, that's pretty fucking picky. <laughs> I've been picky about shit. <laughs> Damn, they're on the Can't we shake them off? Looks like they <coughs> modified the Red Wings! <laughs> Period blood. <laughs> Period blood in your face. The only way you can earn your Red Wings. Period blood wow. in your face. There's no way it's around it. It's catching up! Give it your best, <laughs> Enterprise! If you didn't get Period blood in your face, then you didn't earn your Red Wings. Enterprise. <laughs> yeah. You know that uh, period blood kind of tastes like sand? <laughs> My god! <laughs> Shush. Read. Well, you're like, <laughs> you know, like a bitch of sand. I don't even want to say it. I don't even want to say it. The engine can't last long, much longer, Cecil. <laughs> Take the control. Dude. My, I don't know if I should tell this story. I'm not going to tell any names. Alright, read the dialogue. Sid! What are you doing? Get out of the underground! I close the aisle with this bomb! <laughs> what? What? Just what I said? <laughs> that you was pop? Oh, Sid, this isn't a fucking cartoon! <laughs> You'll die! I wanted to see your children. Wait, I wanted to see your children. Rose and Cecil, why would make you think they have all children? You say, fuck. Uh, that's right. That's how you have children now. Oh, yeah! <laughs> you guys don't have this talk with But I guess head. I'll stay in <laughs> for a while. When a man <laughs> sticks his goo bazooka into a woman's bavlinka <laughs> joint, <laughs> and then he jackal mobile bobs. 
<laughs> Not if spermie. Yeah. If it's right before her menstrual cycle, then nine oh months God. later, a little fucking shitty baby will come out. <laughs> Like I got some stay here for a while. Get to better and get my workers to help ya. Get a bitch. <coughs> Sid! Come on! Yeah, do it, Sid! Big old radio, you bitch. <laughs> Even though I just met ya. Even though I met Maya. Hurry to Baron! It's lava? What the hell? <laughs> Dude, he's an old man. How does it work? Where's the bomb at? Good thing I have talked my anus. <laughs> Galbez, I'll show you the great fireworks of Sid, the master engineer. <laughs> Vegemite sandwich attack! <laughs> I'm honest. Why are all our guys killing themselves? I know, right? <laughs> This is just, Could you just this drop is the bombs? fucking dark. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? Couldn't you just drop the bomb? Why did you have ball? to go with it? What, <laughs> yeah, what part of it? It must have been strapped to his chest because we didn't see him. Because <laughs> his right in his hand was in fucking <laughs> doing the igniter. <laughs> Sid! Why? It's too dangerous. <laughs> What's too. Oh, what he just did? Yeah. How'd he even cave it in? <laughs> You'd be jumping off and detonating a bomb in midair is dangerous? Genius. We'll head toward Baron. <laughs> it's just another dead person. <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> We've been there before. Yeah, we sure have. <sighs> so, so. <laughs> Everyone's damn near full anyway. And so our heroes <laughs> go off on their epic quest with, like, Tella and, like, Yang <laughs> and Freedom Mel Sid. They all dead. Edward, well... No, Edward's not dead. We're kind of glad Edward's dead. No, Edward's not dead. No, I keep thinking he's dead because he was worthless to begin with. <laughs> Anna's dead. Anna's <laughs> dead? All yeah, the he's dead. All the arrows. <laughs> Alright, that's 12 minutes. Let's let's cut it here and we'll do another one. Tell us Lifeline was cut out. <laughs> yeah.